I mean, this place isn't as bad as it used to be, you know, first time through and you, you don't know where the, uh, where the falls are and where the gravity is. And there's the NPC. Well, I've got that bit shooting at me. See, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. All this crap you've got to deal with. This place still sucks ass, man. It's probably the cruelest and most unfair area in the game. I'm really not a fan. Did you seriously the aggro? How much damage? Not enough to be worth it. God damn it, that wasn't a parry really. And yeah, no backstab. That was a parry. Stun lots! It is a bitch, isn't it? I love the fact that NPCs are never smart enough to roll out of that. It's very, very fucking rare. You will have an NPC who will actually roll out of a stun lock, and I fucking love it. <laughs> Even though they, they can, you know, easily, they can easily roll out of it after the second hit, but they don't. I love that about them. I love how fucking stupid they are. And look at this sneaky hidden bitch over here. This is such bullshit, man. And those little bastards really don't help. Killed you. I didn't hit you, did I? I like the fact they put a dragon rider over there, though. That's pretty cool. Stop spamming your bullshit spells, you bitches. Jesus Christ. I fucking hate these enemies, man. I really do. <coughs> I, well, I don't hate them. I hate how their AI works. Just due to the fact that they literally just queue their fucking spells all day. One after the other, after the other, after the other. And you little fuckers really don't help either. How much does that do? Enough to kill you. Nice. I didn't aggro the ogre either, that's good. Catch, bitch. Oh, that's because she's standing in water? That makes sense. <laughs> of course it makes sense, I'm an idiot. But yeah, guys, I think I'll probably be starting my uh, Dark Souls 3 playthrough with the knight. Simply because I like the class, I like how the armor looks, and uh, I'm a fan of melee uh, builds more than I am, you know, magic builds when I first start a game because it's harder for a melee build you know the game is more difficult when using melee weapons and I prefer that because it means I can get into the uh, intricacies of the, it means I can get into the mechanics and you know the uh, attack frames a bit better and understand it all a bit better you know because I have to time my rolls better and I have to get in there and everything so I do think that in terms of like the best build I personally do think the best build to start playing a game like this with is a melee build because it gives you a much better understanding of how the enemies attack and how everything works. And the only reason I'm picking the knight as I said is because I like how the armor looks. I think it's real cool to look at. The basic starting set, I think it looks real nice. And as, you know, if you guys don't know what about me by now, which I'm not sure if you do because I'm not sure how many times I've mentioned it, I care more about looking good than I do about stats in these games for the most part, so yeah. That's why I wear this outfit. <laughs> so I like how it looks. I really don't think it lends me any advantages. I mean, I've got decent defense because, of course, it's armor, but as I said, I just like how it looks more than how if it helps or not. I mean, for God's sake, if I thought it looked good enough, I'd wear nothing but rags and play like that, but that's not the kind of look I like. Can you catch this? Mm, not enough damage because he's in water. I wonder how much that'd do if he's on land, because that was half his health. Could probably I'd take off like three quarters or one shot them maybe even. The bitches are so fucking annoying with your bullshit spell spamming crap. Ugh.
Catch, bitch. Ow. Why am I chugging so slowly? What happened to... Uh oh Okay, that hurt. Oh, you see, uh, that's another thing about this area I don't like. Why can they move through fast so fast with the fucking water? Chug, chug, chug. Oof. And of course he went around. I knew he'd fucking go around. I'm not even going to try and parry him. I'm going to try and backstab him. Looks like their mate went back. That's fine by me. I expect him to come off screen and fall. Oh, there he is. One shot, one shot. Right, thank God for that. Whew. That was a hairy situation we were in right there. Jesus. Another death by gravity. Did I mention I played this game a shitload back in the day? <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. You know what the best part is? I can't just run past everything. But uh, I don't know whether I should fucking try. At least I can run past, I think, this first part. Until I get to that hut, at least. But then I have to fight everything. Ow. Oh my god, that just missed me. Uh. Oh god, I've got no health. No! Okay, guys, you know what? No, fuck it, I'll make one more attempt, but if I fail again, I'll just skip to the fucking bonfire. Or if I have to cut the video up before I get there, I'll skip to the bonfire. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to run through this. I, I fucking hate this place, man. I know the first death was my fault, but Jesus. I already went through this shit once. Fucking bitches, man. I hate these enemies so much. I'm not fighting you. I can't be happy there. Shut up. Yeah. Would you little bastards fuck off, please? Great, I didn't want I did not want to get trapped in a fucking backstab animation there. Is that dude ever gonna stop following me? I want the item, but no. Too risky. I know these little fuckers what Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to skip to the bonfire. I'll pick it up there. Because I can tell, I can already tell there's going to be a lot of deaths in this area. I don't, I don't want to stretch this video series out ridiculously long. So yeah, I'll skip to the next bonfire. But you guys aren't going to miss much because I almost got there last time, right? <laughs>